This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for making a beautiful website. So three bottles from the same distillery. Now you might see when you're sort of getting into whiskey that distilleries can release all these different types of bottles. Like what is this? Is this Coke and vanilla Coke and cherry Coke? Well, they do have different purposes. What I think it is, is there's actually three different ways to drink whiskey. So grab a seat, grab a dram, and let's so what are the three whiskies that I have in front of me? Well I've decided to get them all from the same distillery to really highlight the different ways you can use different expressions from the same distillery. And this one's from the Glenlivet distillery which I talked about in my History of Scotch video which has quite a unique history. It was one of the first uh, distilleries to get licensed. Uh, so the first one we have is a Founders Reserve. And this one is bottled at 40% and it's a non-age statement. And this one I can get in New Zealand for about $55. The second one is a really common one. You'll probably see this all over the place. It's the Glenlivet 12 year old. And you'll see it in a lot of bars, you'll see it in a lot of uh, bottle shops and it has an age statement of 12 years and also bottled at 40% and this one I can get for about $65 in New Zealand. This one is the Glenlivet Illicit Still. This whiskey you can get for $75 also the 12 year old so how's it different? Well the main way that this whiskey is different is that it's bottled at a higher strength. It's bottled above 46%, this one's bottled at 48% so a lot more flavour and also it's unchill filtered which I also go into detail in a whole video about what unchill filtered whiskey is. I don't know if it's natural colour, it doesn't say that anywhere. And this whiskey's caused quite a fanfare within the whiskey community at the moment because it's an integrity bottling and a true expression of the Glenlivet 12. So what are the three ways that I drink this whiskey? Well as I've got to say again as the whiskey tribe always talk about, the best whiskey is the whiskey you like to drink and the way you like to drink it. Look, at the end of the day it's your money, do what you like. You can add, I don't know, add Marmite to this one, put flour in there and you can, uh, you can add milk to this one. You can do whatever you like. I'm not stopping you. Go do it. But the purpose of this video though, it's a recommendation. So it's the three ways that I drink these whiskies. So what are the three different ways? They are in a cocktail, on the rocks and neat. So let's talk about all three of those right now. So the first one, the cocktail. And for that, I like to use the Founders Reserve. And the reason I like to use the Founders Reserve is that in a cocktail you're adding flavours, you're diluting it, and so you're really just getting more the essence of the whiskey than the, like the full subtleties and flavour of the whiskey. So I mean there's not really going to be a big difference between me using this and the Glenlivet 12 so I might as well save a little bit of my money and go for the Founders Reserve because it's going to give them the essence of this Glenlivet Scotch. I mean it's still going to be different to say a bourbon um, but within the range of Glenlivet I might as well use the cheaper one. So the cocktail I'm going to recommend is the Old Fashioned and I think if you like whiskey or if you really only know one cocktail I think this is the one you need to know. And also with the Old Fashioned I think it's best with a whiskey. You can have it with brandy. I think traditionally it was made with rye whiskey um, but I kind of like to have it with scotch because or we're a cheaper scotch because I find a lot of bourbons, the cheaper bourbons, are already quite sweet and with this whiskey you're adding sugar and that sort of thing. So I like to stick with kind of a more malty version of a whiskey because we're going to be adding sweetness to it anyway so I don't want to double up on that sweetness. So let's talk about the glass and with the old fashioned I recommend using a lowball glass or a rocks glass. The reason for that is it's easy to mix things up, it's easy to add things and it's not going to get stuck when you try and add it to one of these more snifter type glasses. First of all um, I like to add a sugar cube. Now I quite like these sort of half sugar cubes not the full sugar cubes because I'm not super into sweetness. You can also add a dash of sugar syrup. So there's two different ways you can do this. Um, some people like the sugar cube because it adds a bit of texture and as you go through the drink it gets a little bit sweeter and sweeter and the last sip can, is that nice kind of finishing off sip. So some people love that. Other people prefer it to be more uniform throughout your experience of drinking it so they can use sugar syrup. Sugar syrup is quite simple, you basically just add a half shot, put it in. But with the sugar cube, what you want to do is you want to put it in the bottom of your glass and add about four dashes of bitters. And what you want to do 
is saturate that sugar cube. Then what you want to do is you want to crush down that sugar cube. So we're just going to crush that down, then add some soda water and just a very small amount, just honestly not much at all, just to cover that sugar cube. Yep. And then we're going to add the ice. And what I like to use is a ice sphere or anything that's kind of a slightly bigger version of just a normal ice cube because it's going to dilute slower. Yeah, your whiskey's not going to be watered down too fast. So just pop that in your glass. A shot of the Founders Reserve. Just pour that over that ice. And then just get a slice of orange and then get that zest out by bending it over and pop that in there. And then just uh, mix it up a little bit. And that's it. That is an old fashioned whiskey. Mm, that's good. It's just got that sweet and bitter kind of crossover, which I really like about it. And then it's got the kind of maltiness coming through the whiskey as well. So you've just got everything sort of happening at the same time. So the next whiskey is the Glenlivet 12. And the way I like to drink this whiskey is on the rocks. And you see, the reason I like to drink this on the rocks is because it's still relatively cheap. It's only $65 New Zealand. And especially in summer, when you want something to kind of cool you down, it's more an alternative to grabbing a beer out of the fridge. And it's almost my kind of defense to, to um, drinking my really nice whiskies too quickly. The, you know, the whiskies I want to savor for a longer period of time. And I just find the Glenlivet 12 a good example of that. It's a real classic Scotch flavor. You know, you feel like a Scotch whiskey, you're not feeling like a bourbon. It's just a good go-to. And the glass I like to use is the, this glass here. And I mean, it's still a rocks glass. Um, you can sort of see the difference. It just has a slightly narrow opening. So if I want to kind of flirt with it and smell it just a little bit, I can, but most of the time I'm just sipping from it. Basically all you're doing is taking a big ice cube and adding that there. Pour yourself a shot of the Glenlivet 12. Add it in. And that's it. And again, I like to use a bigger ice cube. It's going to dilute slower. It means um, it's going to cool down that whiskey, but it's not going to go watery too quickly. And the other thing that ice does is that it actually kind of can close off the flavor. And you get this with say Guinness and stuff, like the reason they have it so cold is because it's quite an intense beer, but when you make it cold, it, it kind of makes it more approachable. And that's what adding ice to whiskey can do. It makes it more smoother is what people would say. Mm. Mm, that's a 10. This one, because it's you know slightly more expensive, but actually not that expensive, to be honest. I mean, $75 is still pretty good value. And again, I'd like to say it again, I really hope they don't discontinue this. It is a nice whiskey. So the way I like to drink this is in a Glen Karen glass. And this is the most common glass you'll see on whiskey channels and whiskey experts use. The reason for that is because it's a good nosing glass. Um, it's narrow at the top, it means you can get more flavor when you smell it. And with something that's 48%, it's got more flavor. I wanna get as much out of this whiskey as I want. And this falls in what I talked about in my uh, tasting whiskey video. Um, this falls into the appreciation camp, where the last two fall in kind of the enjoyment camp. I'm just enjoying it with mates and a great way to drink it as well. But this is more the appreciation. I wanna appreciate the whiskey. I wanna explore the whiskey, the nose, the palate and the finish. So yeah, I'm just pouring myself a dram. I like to assess the nose first because smell is a big part of taste. They say it's like 80% of taste, something like that. I don't know the exact stat, but it's a big part of it. And this, you're adding the nose to it. So yeah, I'm getting like, um, like a glazed sort of caramel, some biscuity notes, a lot of biscuity notes, uh, like a like a ginger nut type biscuit and then like some dairy milk chocolate and there's a little bit of um, orange and fruit coming through, some pear skins, the apple skin. If you want me to do more kind of whiskey reviews, let me know in the comments. Um, I don't do a lot of whiskey reviews, but think about doing it. And then on the palate. Mm. It's a really nice mix of savory and sweet but not too sweet. A decent finish actually, compared to these ones, it sits there in your mouth. Yeah, really nice. I, do, I really enjoy this. 
as I've already said, keep banging on about it. Um, great way to drink whiskey. But I just want to highlight another level with the whiskey glass and way to drink whiskey. And this one a lot of people haven't really heard of so much. And it is the Blender's 1920s glass. And this is a way to level up your whiskey appreciation again. The main time I use this glass is for like older vintage whiskies and Eat Smoke Drink, who's been on my channel a couple of times, he likes to use this for those, you know, 30 year old whiskies or really rare whiskies, especially whiskies that have lost the alcohol contents because of the angel share over time. So they could be a lower alcohol strength, but they're really complex. So you really want to make sure you get the most out of the nose as possible. So let's just try this. Yeah, wow. That just turned it up. So there you have it, three ways to drink whiskey. You could swap it around, you could put the Founders Reserve into there and this into there. But I just think in terms of price point, if I'm going to spend a bit more and analyze the flavor, I might as well use that for the neat one. And if it's going to be diluted anyway, I might as well just get the essence of what the whiskey is, the distillery is, and put that into the cocktail. Hope you enjoyed that video. I just want to thank today's sponsor of the video, Squarespace. Squarespace are fantastic. There are three reasons why I love them. First one, the domains. You get to choose your own domain, so it makes it personal. You know, you can have it as your own name, you can have it as your business name. It just means it takes care of the domain side. Secondly, it's absolutely beautiful. The websites are kind of pre-designed, you don't need to have a code background, a design background. And it's all just set up and you just choose which one you like. So the third one is that they can take care of your SEO, which means like your tag words and your keywords and all that sort of thing to help you rank on Google. And this was really helpful for me when I was a freelance video editor in London and I started to get a lot of my work through Google because of the tags and keywords I was using through Squarespace. So it was really helpful and I can vouch for that. So if you want to get 10% off your first website go to the website squarespace.com forward slash first fill whiskey for 10% off and also you can share that with friends as well and they can get 10% off so share the link around. So thanks again Squarespace for making this video possible.